Sober living homes are places where people recovering from substance abuse disorders can get their lives back on track. The organization Seeds of Eden is opening up two new ones in Mandan. Elizabeth Shores tells us why. When you look at this house, you might assume it's a normal home, and in a lot of ways it is. However, it's actually a sober living home for women. It's still fairly new, but it's nearly full. Care coordinator Mandy Kraft says houses like these are a place for residents to start fresh. They're clean, free of drugs, and people living there are expected to keep up with their share of the chores. The fewer risks that you have, the greater the chance of success. So it's just something to give you a little bit of extra boost so you don't have to have those same worries. The more stress, the more likely you are to relapse. Peer support specialist Terry Killscrow lived in a sober living home while recovering from her disorder. She began working there as a way to help others in similar situations. She says a big part of the recovery process involves holding yourself and the other residents accountable. Even admitting like about dishonesty, you know, that's a huge, something I struggled with a lot. So with that responsibility, um, even as far as doing chores, like budgeting my money, managing my time. However, she says a lot of sober living homes aren't able to house women's children. When this happens, children are often sent to the foster care system while their mothers recover. She says one of the two new homes opening in Mandan will house moms and their kids. They get to heal together, you know, through the trauma and the separation. Along with a stable environment, the women who live in these homes can expect assistance in finding resources in the community to help them heal. There's no shame. There's nothing to be embarrassed of. We've, we've experienced issues like this. That's why we're in this field. Seeds of Eden aims to open the homes by the beginning of next year. In Mandan, I'm Elizabeth Shores reporting for your news leader. Killscrow says the bigger homes will be able to house six to eight women and their children, depending on how many they have.